for women motorsport and her career itself was, was quite inspiring. It's my first time in the USA first, so it's, uh, it's very special for me. I can't wait to start our journey with Lamborghini, so uh, the expectation is uh, that we will really fight to give the best results uh, as possible. First of all, we want to prove ourselves on track. We want to show that we are fast, that we are competitive. I follow this race very closely. This is what I was missing a bit when I was a young go-kart driver, is that I, I was never seeing that it was actually possible for, for a female driver. Um, and, and I hope that we are now showing that nothing is impossible. That's all for today. Join us next time for more incredible stories that you just can't miss. I'm Corey Robinson, and this has been One Team, the power of sports. Tragedy in Texas. We are learning more about that mass shooting as the community comes together to mourn the victims. Police have now identified the gunman and his connection to neo Nazis. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy Vara. Hi, everyone. I'm Macalo Medina, and for Jonathan Gonzalez, he's off right now. Investigators say they're looking into yesterday's shooting at an outlet mall near Dallas as an act of domestic terrorism. Let's get to NBC 4's Trace Leon, live in the newsroom right now with what she's learned so far. Tracy. Yeah, McCullough and Kathy, the suspected gunman who was killed by police on Saturday, has been identified as 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia. Investigators believe Garcia interacted with neo-Nazi and white supremacist content online, but at this time, law enforcement says it's too early to determine a motive for this mass shooting. Holding on to loved ones and friends, the community came together to honor the victims of Saturday's shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets. Sunday's vigil held just one day after the suspected gunman, 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia, opened fire Saturday afternoon, killing eight people and injuring at least seven others. The string of bullets erupted at the crowded mall around 3.30. Frightened shoppers searched for a place to hide. Many stayed locked inside stores until the attack ended. And I drove up in front of my son's store and the window was shot out and there were seven people on the ground. Steve Spainhauer's son works at the outlets. He rushed to the center as soon as he heard about the attack. To see your son come out with his hands over his heads and have to walk past dead bodies. It's not something any parent or anybody should ever have to see or experience. And I, I have guns. I've been around guns. I love my guns. But those automatic rifles that are on the streets need to come off the streets. Spain Hauer is now hoping for more meaningful gun control legislation. I was emotional and upset last night because I was so glad my son was alive and sad for the victims and their families. But today I'm mad. I'm mad because, you know, there will be politicians that will stand up and give interviews and say our prayers and hearts go out to the victims and their families and the first responders, but these prayers are useless without meaningful gun control legislation that takes dangerous weapons out of the hands of people that don't belong to have them. And I will talk about that till the day I die. Witnesses describe the gunman in all black tactical gear. Police say he was carrying an AR-15 style assault rifle. More weapons, weapons and ammunition were also found inside his car. Reporting in the newsroom, Tracy Leong, NBC4 News. Tracy, thank you so much. Meanwhile, those living near the gunman's home say they didn't notice anything that would indicate he was capable of a crime like this. Candace Sweet from our sister station over in Dallas spent the day in that neighborhood. Neighbors say this was the scene here at the 9200 block of Piper Lane less than 24 hours ago. A heavy law enforcement presence focused on this house. Day it was quiet at the property where it is believed the suspected shooter stayed with his parents. NBC5 learned he's been identified as 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia. People coming in and out of the house today did not want to answer questions about Garcia. However, this image from a Google Street View shows what appears to be the same car the suspected shooter was said to be driving. Neighbors tell us there was nothing they could have picked up on to make them believe this would hit so close to home. The time that I did see him, 